Uh, this is uh, something that we've started, obviously, this is our eighth one. So around eight years ago, we decided to just do a joint camp with Noakes, uh, build, build a relationship. Initially, it was to, obviously, just we were, we were very similar to what we did. Our beliefs were very similar, so just to get together and offer something different. And then it, then it came along, obviously, with the cultural exchange and experience where the, the, the players come here and live with Australian families for a little bit. Having the Japanese player from part of this camp, it's like, to me, having a, another, having a brother. Uh, it's fun. He, we're always playing competitions in the backyard. It's a good experience for him. It's fun taking him to like different places around Sydney. We're huge on the people that we have here. I mean, you can see by what we've managed to, to bring down um, even this week. You know, you've got Josip Skoko travelling for Victoria for like the fifth or sixth time. Every year we bring a you know, group of six to eight kids, maybe that we handpick uh, down from Melbourne, Geelong. Um, I mostly take kids that, that I sort of know and are at the, at the quality and then they love it. Like most of the kids that come, they keep on coming back. Um, every year we try to get one or two new kids to give, give um, kids that are performing well down there a different experience and they just, it's a different world, different intensity, different way of working. You know, it's, it's not a club set up here. It's a proper academy type setup where Glenn and Jason and the coaches run it the way they want and um, there's no mucking around, proper intense work and, and really good quality. So it's a real eye opener for some of the guys who haven't been uh, exposed to this sort of thing before. A couple of years ago, I, I met Glenn by, uh, when I was playing with him at Sydney United and uh, just kind of fascinated obviously with what he was doing with the young kids and um, he said that he was getting some keepers coming down. Um, thought I could come down and help and uh, it's been a great experience so far. Uh, it's definitely something that I enjoy doing. Just even our local coaches, you know, Daniel Bragg and Andre Schroeder, that actually really, really care. They're like us, you know, they care about the players, the individuals, not just what they dish up on the field, but how they are as people and what kind of, you know, what kind of people that come out of our program. Someone like Ellie Carpenter giving up her time as well to come and be a part of it. She's not just the, the footballer that we want to produce, but also the right person. Yeah, um, I've been with the boys now for about five, six years. I uh, started off as a player, um, pretty young, about 12 years old. Um, he always came to camps and um, did individual sessions with Jason Glenn. So we've got a coaching role here now. Um, I have a girls program, which uh, is really going well, and also helping out here with the clinics. Yeah, I love working with the little girls, and especially them. Um, I can just see that they're going to be so good. They're going to take my spot in a few years. Bridge the gap between Japan and Australia. We want to make it closer so that our Australian players can see and can taste what it's like to go over there or to have players of that level come here. Um, yeah, and to sort of just see similarities, work on things to make sure that we, we, we edge ourselves closer to what we think is you know, one of the best youth systems in, in the world. I learned um, many things that a lot of people do, like um, units are the juggling. Some friends, I can't defeat them. I like the games that I play. Um, I, I like it when I score. And it's so good feeling. To try to sum up, you know, the experience behind how they run things here, I think it's you just take a look at them running a session. You know, they get involved. They they want to make sure everything's perfect. The intensity is right. If it's not right, nah, they won't say. They won't let it go. They won't let it slide. They'll uh, get stuck into the kids and say that's not good enough. And I think they're trying to bring a bit of realism to the world of football, where it's becoming a little bit fake. You know, not everyone's good enough. Things you learn in football, the way you make uh, friendships, the way you uh, communicate, the way you work as a team, these are all life skills. These are all things that you can use in, in the workplace. You know, Arriving on time is something that every boss and every job want to see. Uh, so it's not essentially just about building a football, it's building a human being. And that's why I think football for us is the greatest game because there's so much that you can get out of it. Aligato. <laughs>